The Zoll AED 3BLS builds on our reputation for providing rescuers with unmatched support, and it embodies all the same great qualities of its predecessor while offering advanced features to provide unrivaled rescuer support. Before we begin our video tutorial, let's take a look at the components of the device. The status indicator provides a green check, helping to indicate visually that the Zoll AED 3BLS passed its last self-test and is ready for use. No green check indicates that the AED has not passed its last self-test or a battery has not been installed. The on or off button allows you to initiate your rescue with one touch. The defibrillation pads connector is used to attach the defibrillation pads to the Zoll AED 3BLS defibrillator. The interactive LCD touchscreen displays graphics and a CPR dashboard to guide the rescuer. The shock button illuminates when the AED is charged and ready to deliver a shock to the patient. The speaker provides audio prompts and metronome beeps to guide rescuers during a rescue also provides audio prompts to indicate when service is required. The child mode indicator will illuminate when PD pads 2 pediatric electrodes are plugged into the AED. The built-in microphone records audio during a rescue for case debriefing. The carrying handle makes it easy to carry the AED. The USB connector compartment is used to connect a USB flash drive when importing or exporting files to or from the Zoll AED 3BLS defibrillator. The battery compartment holds the battery pack used to power the AED. The support bar automatically opens to hold the AED in an upright position for optimal visibility. The device has a dual orientation capability. It can be laid flat, or it can be stood upright, as the need to view the screen from various angles can change during a rescue. The Zoll AED 3BLS has two modes of operation, Rescue Mode and AED Management Non-Rescue Mode. In Rescue Mode, the LCD screen displays graphics that are coordinated with audio prompts to guide you through a rescue. In AED Management Non-Rescue Mode, the icons on the touch screen allow you to change configuration settings and upload files. Enabling Wi-Fi connectivity and other configuration settings will not be reviewed in this course. Please refer to the Zoll AED3 Administrator's Guide to review how to adjust settings. You have completed the module that guided you through the controls and indicators on the AED3BLS. Continue to the Pad Options module.